Hello everybody. My name's Josh. Everyone calls me Sasky. I own my own shop here. Dirty by 60 heated garage. Probably four bays or so. A little bit about myself. I uh, I work in the mines. I work in a steel mine up here in northern Minnesota. I drive a 240 ton production haul truck. I went to school to be a diesel mechanic. Bought a house up here in northern Minnesota, a piece of land. I uh, work on my, all my own stuff. I have tractors and four wheelers and multiple vehicles and I work on vehicles for my buddies and work on all their stuff. So. Uh, I've been ranching my whole life. This is my toolbox tour. I'll probably go through the shop one day. I don't know if I'll ever do any how-tos or anything. I'm I'm usually pretty busy, so I'm just kind of cleaning up the shop tonight, putting some tools away from a head gasket job the other day. Uh, I have a. Uh, Harbor Freight 72 inch side locker. I got a 26 inch top box. The side cabinet. An old snap on road box on the floor. The desk is full of stuff. I got, you know, all over the place I got stuff. I got a Harbor Freight tool cart here. This is my shop. 2018 Ranger, the 2017 Switchback Assault Polaris over there, snowmobile. My buddy's dirt bike. We got the big Sasquatch cutout. That's that's, that's me. We got a 20-ton press, torches, 80-gallon air compressor, bar. Built my own workbench. A propane heater up there. I got a microwave and a pizza oven and a fridge over there. I have this uh, 2001 Ford Excursion in the garage. Had an underhood fire. Got the drill press, Harbor Freight Special. Got an old bench grinder over here. It's an old Black and Decker 10 inch. Miller 241, kind of, or 251. I'm borrowing that from my dad for the moment. Kind of do everything here now since I moved out. Got an old Montgomery Ward stick welder. I picked up that clutch Northern Tool brand plasma cutter, really cheap. If you're in the market for a grinder, corded grinder, this is a Harbor Freight. Rat tail style. She got some power. It's a good one. Starting the desk here. In the drawers. The welding stuff in there. There's much in here. I think most of these drawers are empty. Towels in there. Shims. Starting the old desk here. Shrink tube. Connectors. I get all this stuff at Harbor Freight. If you're looking for good shrink tube, this uh, marine grade stuff. That's really, really good stuff. It's got a goo inside there. Really seals up nice. I use these a lot of the time instead of using butt connectors. These have uh, low temp solder in them. And they're shrink tube. So... Seals up real nice, keeps the green out. Especially up here in the rust belt. Yeah, more connectors, clamps, wing nuts, wire nuts, all that type of stuff down here. Flip multimeter. That's for doing shrink tube. This is a no name brand. Uh, test light. I got picked up at the local fleet store. Works really good. It was cheap. Got a Milwaukee soldering iron. This came in a set. I 
All right, good drawer here. This made this for doing. Uh, I, was, I had to reset a throttle position sensor on a player's snowmobile, so it is nine volts. Reduces down to five volts, and then you read out read out your ohms out of it. Work, worked uh, worked good for what I needed it for. This is my uh, starter button for jumping starters. These are the only Nipex tools I own. Figured I'd try them out, they work pretty good. I think I'm gonna throw them in my road box. These, I think everybody, Snap-on, Mac, Matco, I think they all rebrand these. These ones are from Napa, Carlisle brand, but I don't know who makes them, but they're really, really good. Wire stripper crimper. These are Kleins. These ones are my go to's for crimping. Flush cuts for your zip ties. These are no name brand. They work pretty good for stripping wires. Got those at Menards, I think. Milwaukee razor knife. The old uh, stick on itself tape. The best electrical tape on the planet. Zip ties, I got a power probe screaming. Wire, X-square wire for wiring jobs. I got looming and lights and wire harness for LED lights in there. I got the old makeshift flammable cabinet. A little bit of everything you need in here. washer got some o-rings in here paper towels and stuff on the side of the locker here magnetic trays a torch and a magnetic tray these screwdrivers I picked up the full set the extra longs at a garage sale for $20 Got some ratchets on the outside of the door here. Proto, an old open gear style Thorson. Napa Carlisle. These are probably my favorite long ratchets. Got a older SK here, long half inch. And a Harbor Freight breaker bar. I've had this breaker bar for 10 years. I've never broke one. Got uh, some random stuff in here. This is kind of cool. This is for uh, serpentine belt. Getting around the crankshaft. You can, uh, you know, hook around. A couple of torque wrenches in here. Actually, let's go. This one, I think a lot of a lot of people recognize this click style. This is uh, the original brand, Precision Instruments. Did not pay that. I bought this at a pawn shop for thirty-five dollars. Jewed them down pretty good. And it's Precision Instruments, made in USA. Snap-on Mac, Matco. They all bought those from Precision Instruments. Put their handles on them. This is a Craigslist Special Proto dial type. Got some gloves in there. You got one of these one of these lights glued up to the top of it. That's not rope. That's gaskets for the wood stove. Sticker drawer. Some manuals. What else do I got in there? Some other stuff. I think my drill chuck's in there. Top of this box, just kind of a junk collector. Got the first drawer here. Got some soapstone in there. Medical tape. Hole punch. 
shotgun shells for the 20 gauge there. Got uh, markers, pens, pencils, wind windshield marker. Got some bling bling in here. Got some snap-on picks. I like the snap-on ones because they bend and they don't break. I got tire tools. Um, feeler gauges. This is for wire thickness and pipe pipe diameter, inside diameter for screening and crushing. Got the screwdriver drawer. Klein screwdrivers. These Craftsman's I use for uh, pry bars basically. These are my favorite ratcheting screwdrivers. Made by Craftsman. These are pretty old. Got a light on them. Got two of those. Picked one up when they were going out of business when Sears was. These are Cobalt. These are the uh, Torx. I have the full set. The other half of it's in the tool cart. These are for adjusting screwdrivers. I got these on Amazon. They were extremely cheap. They're for adjusting your uh, chainsaws and weed whackers and stuff like that. There's the other two screwdrivers out of that snap-on set. Files. Files. I uh, I go to a lot of garage sales and a lot of moving sales and stuff, and it seems like it seems like all the older the older generation they like files, and I like files too. So picked up all these most of these at garage sales. I don't think I've ever bought in a new file besides these ones for my chainsaw. Some specialty ones in there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's tapered. For cutting threads and bolts. No random drawers, knives, and uh, tools for taking out windshields and saw and rivet tool and scrapers and all sorts of stuff. I got a uh, snap ring drawer. These. I don't know how I lived without these. These are for them stupid plastic push pins. They're on all your engine covers. These work awesome. They're like six bucks at Harbor Freight. These are USA made Wildy for uh, external snap rings. These are old Craftsman's. Craftsman Professionals. These ones work really, really well. Internal and external. And then uh, these snap-on ones. They are real snap-ons. Genuine. They, uh, I got these at a garage sale. I think I paid 20 bucks for the set. It's the same garage sale I got them screwdrivers at. Player drawer. Mostly channel lock, or uh, yeah, channel lock. All USA made except for these Sonic duck bill. These are, I bought these to go reach down on spark plug holes of Ford 3 valves to pull the spark plugs out. These are gear wrench. These are, uh, these are Harbor Freight lock player or lock lock wire players these are for spring clamps these are like uh these are like a nipex cobra kind of design the more you tor torque down on it the tighter it gets these are nut busters these are awesome you can break it if if it's not breaking loose it's breaking off so we'll go to the big drawer here. The only thing I don't like about these toolboxes, this stupid lock is over here on the right side. Should have it all the way across. These are old Sparta sockets I got from my dad, metric. This is all metric stuff here. It's all standard over there. 
mostly craftsmen. Some gear wrench in here, these these two. This is a mid-depth 3 8 mid-depth quarter inch. Um, all the rest of it except for the impact sockets are all Craftsman USA, maybe these deep ones. But everything else is Craftsman USA, even these, these uh, big ones that I picked up at the pawn shop. Down here we got we got uh, crow's feet from Harbor Freight, line wrench crow's feet from Northern Tool. These wobble sockets are Craftsman USA. These I picked up at a garage sale. Got my 3 8 ratchets over here, stubby gear wrench, uh, quarter inch body, 3 8 head, or 3 8 drive. Duralast, you can see how small the head is on that. Quarter inch body, flex, 3 8 drive, SK, quarter inch body, straight, 3 8 drive, SK, 3 8 drive, proto, fine tooth, I think they're like 90 tooth. This is an older ratchet. Actually one of my favorites. Uh, most, of these, most of these extensions are USA Craftsman's, except for these. With the knurling on them. These are like, nope, not that one. That one's a, uh, that one's a Northern Tool brand. I'm talking about these ones. These are Gear Wrench, like Wobble Drive Plus or Wobble Plus. This is a Gear Wrench brand. I bought the whole set. It was like 30 bucks, cheap. Don't really care. Use them all the time. They work good. This is a. Uh, Pittsburgh double double sided 72 tooth extendable. I bought that for throwing my side by side when I go on long rides. Got some other tools for it. Northern Tool brand, Allen's, Torx. These I found under the seat of my pickup when I bought it. Wobble, wobble uh, sockets. Harbor Freight, metric standard work really good I got a Harbor Freight in town close to me so you break one bring it there they give you a new one simple as that Harbor Freight adapter this is a Northern Tool brand pinless I don't know I think it was uh, gear Wrench started making them too but I think it was Mac that came out with them or something I can't remember but Works good. This was cheap, 20 bucks, something like that. One inch to or three quarter to half inch. Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight, Craftsman USA. Here's an old mechanics trick right there. Wrap some electrical tape around her to keep her tight. These are, I don't have very many Mac tools, but these are Mac USA. Old one, short. There's a broken uh, Craftsman 916 flat socket or flathead socket. These are the only snap on ratchets I have, or two quarter inch. Got a locking flex and a standard. These are SK, SK, Craftsman USA, no name brand, no name brand. No name brand, Craftsman USA extensions. These uh, Napa ratchets, these Carlisles are pretty nice. Got a two three eighths and a half inch. Switch broke off there, but still functions. Just gotta kinda get your finger in there. I could go get it fixed, but it hasn't broken yet, so. These are, these are Northern Tool brand, these long extensions. That's a Northern Tool brand. Craftsman USA, Craftsman USA, Gear Wrench, Gear Wrench. These are all Craftsman USA. I got 6 point and 12 point 3 eighths, both metric and standard. These are Craftsman, all these half inch drive sockets, chromes are Craftsman USA. 
the half inch Craftsman impact sockets. I have no idea where the 916 says. I had a full set at some point. I have, uh, these are OEM tools, I believe. Yep, OEM tool spark plug sockets. They're magnetic, work pretty decent. Um, Northern Tool Allen's Northern Tool screwdriver sockets. These, there's that broken one over there. Called see it called Craftsman's Hotline is when they're going out of business. Well, they have a lifetime warranty. I told them, hey, I need this socket. And they, uh, so it's owned by Stanley Black and Decker. They sent me a proto. Now you should be able to call them. They should send you one. My tools, my toolbox aren't ever going to be clean. So, just so you know. Here's my bits. You got Irwin step bits. I never knew I needed those until I had them. Now I'll never live without them. Um, mostly Milwaukee stuff. I get these Diablo blades for cutting exhaust and stuff on vehicles, junk vehicles. Grab this set here when I'm going to the junkyard or when I'm doing housework. Got an old drawer. These, uh, these Irwins are really good. These Irwins are really good. Always gotta have some 22 ammunition and some, uh, 460 Smith and Wesson May. Drill bits. I'm fortunate enough to live in northern Minnesota, very close to where Triumph Twist Drill is located. These are all Triumph Twist Drill drill bits. These are the rejects. They're too short, they're undersized, they're not sharp enough, or you know, there's a defect in them somehow. Most of them are very functional. A little sharpening and they work really good as you can see half of these are used I have nine inch Milwaukee that gray one down there that's a, a Menards brand Performax rat tail style you got a Harbor Freight body saw these are all just my corded tools Go to the middle drawers. Got standard wrench drawer. We got Craftsman. And then we got Williams Super Wrenches. I'm missing a half inch though. That's a Craftsman USA. But uh, these are probably some of my favorite wrenches. Old school. They work really well. They don't flex or bend or anything. I got a little bit of everything in this drawer. And all my drawers. I got every tool brand known to man. I bet you don't know what that is. You look at the part number there. No other branding markings. This is a, uh, I, I believe, made by Snap on Caterpillar wrench. Old one. Northern Tool brand, double offsets cheap grip brand these are 15 bucks at the local store line wrenches gear wrench short stubbies I got you know your mini wrenches from Craftsman I got uh, stubby Pittsburgh's these are all USA made except for maybe that one right there but they're all SK or Proto or Williams gear wrench this is a buffalo I remember Duro USA 15 16s wizards old wizards someone modified for line wrenches you know make your own tools that kind of stuff Chair here. All right, 
I'm doing this on my phone, sorry if it's a little shaky. We got Craftsman 30 to, well, they're, they're in all in size, but, you know, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 30. And then I picked up these Matco wrenches. These are Matco USAs, 10 to 19. Picked these up at a garage sale. No, I think I picked them up at a, at a uh, swap meet. Pick those up for less than a hundred dollars. You got a nine millimeter Craftsman. I don't know who uses a nine mil, but I got one if I need it. This is a old OEX style snap-on. Got a seven millimeter six point Matco. These are like really good allen keys bondus they're cheap i think a double set metric and standard is like 20 bucks they're made in usa they have a lifetime warranty my uh, local fleet store carries them i can go there and exchange them no problem and i got see how the stubby those ones are compared to those i got both metric and standard these are snap-on double box, non-ratcheting non or anything. I picked these up at a garage sale. Gear wrench ratcheting wrenches. Northern Tool double offsets. These are all Craftsman USA. They're, you gotta have double wrenches, you know. This is a wrench extender. Just kind of, uh, you know, take your wrench. Put it in there, you got an extra long wrench. Stubby ratcheting gear wrench. These are Pittsburgh. And then your small Craftsman's. All them old Craftsman sets came with. Bars and hammers. I was gonna make my sister some rings out of quarters, so I bought that. Never got around to it. I use that for beating on stuff, anyways. Pin hammer. Put a new handle on it. Don't care how it looks, it works good. Harbor Freight hammer. They're cheap. If the handle breaks, I go get a new handle and I put it on. Big deal. This I found in a pellet pile. And for you, don't those of you that don't know um, steel is dug out of the ground is rock it's crushed it's made into a basically like a potting clay rolled into a pellet size of a marble and then uh, it gets shipped all over the world so I used to screen pellets down in uh, down on the dock in Duluth, Minnesota, and we used to find tools and bars and stuff. Just came down the pellet pile. I seen it coming down, and all it was is a handle sticking up like this coming down. In the middle of the night, went and grabbed it, threw it in my car. This hammer I think I got from my grandpa. There's a old chisel, I think I don't know, a brick chisel or something. Got to have a ratchet extension. Another one there. Another one there. This is a tire bar. This is a homemade bar here. Got the old Craftsman USA pry bars that I think a lot of people had. They're cheap. It's still got a lifetime warranty. I got a Lowe's. Not. 30 miles away from me, I can go exchange them anytime I want. They're still made in USA, so a lot of my tools are made in USA. A lot of them are made in Taiwan, too. I don't really care where they're made. That's a Harbor Freight bar there. These uh, lining bars I picked up on sale at Northern Tool for, I don't know, six, eight bucks, something like that. That's an OTC bar there. These must have been a school shop project. 
picked these up at a garage sale. They're probably only, you know, eight ounces or so. But they work really good for breaking loose brake lines. You tap on the side of the brake line, they usually pop loose, you know, up here in the rest belt. So this is a, I don't know, a tack hammer of some sort. I use this a lot for welding and stuff. This is a Harbor Freight hammer. I absolutely love these. I think they're 24 ounce, 20 ounce, something like that. I don't know. Ball peen. They work great. Never had a, never had a problem with these two hammers. I got those two, and they're. I got them in my road box too. I bought them for my road box. I liked them so much. I put them in here. So I went and bought another set. You know they work really well. You got a nice wood handle on them. These three lady slippers are, I believe, Harbor Freight or Chinese or wherever. Don't care. I don't really use them all that much, but when I do, I need them. These two are Snap-on. I picked up at a garage sale. Here's the big boy drawer. This stuff I don't use a whole lot, but I got it if I need it. Most of these sockets are Snap-on, Proto, Mac, Wright, SK. I don't know what else would be in there. All pretty much USA made. That's an old Napa USA made axle socket. That's a, that's for the rear wheel bearings on a Super Duty, Ford Super Duty. You know, snap on three quarter inch extensions. Got an SK ratchet. Got a big right ratchet here. This is an SK breaker bar, and it's got the swappable or not an SK uh, snap on breaker bar. And it's got the swappable snap on head. This is a big one inch snap on breaker bar. I got I got a full set of William Super wrenches up to inch and a quarter. Northern Cool wrenches. Maybe that's a proto inch and five eighths. Got a 48 inch or 36 inch rigid pipe wrench. A 24 inch proto and a 24 inch rigid. And then a couple of uh, broken handle ones. Those ones you just put a pipe on and use. I like my Milwaukee tools. Feet your own. I don't care what you use as long as it works. This is what works for me. I got the drill and the impact driver first. And then I, uh, I built my my collection after that I got a radio and I got a 3 8 a half inch mid and a half inch high torque the grinder sawzall they work really well I got the ratchet got a light up here 12 volt light this thing sucks don't buy one got a light up magnet this thing sucks don't buy one Husky magnetic flexing head junk. These are these are uh, I think they're just called magnet brand. But this has like a five pound draw on that little tiny magnet. These things are awesome. Keep them in my pocket when I'm walking around the shop usually. These are the only Cornwall tools I have. Some of you might not like Cornwall, some of you do. I don't really care if you do or not. I picked these up at uh at a pawn shop for eight bucks, so can't complain. There's a few missing, but big deal, whatever. I got some specialty tools that I made this is for pulling springs off of snowmobile exhaust or small engines. This is for turning over a tractor or the ratchet. Got some triple squares up there, brake tool up there. These are for getting lug nuts off. The reverse reverse thread, the thread right on. This is a flywheel puller for a Honda, motorcycle, dirt bikes. 
vice grips, fencing pliers, homemade uh, hose pinchers, caps and dies. We got uh, snap on hose picks. These are Harbor Freight Christmas tree clip pullers, door puller pin things. Those are cheap, those are like 20 bucks for a set and they're worth it. Crescent wrenches and a aluminum pipe wrench. I don't even know what that, what do you even call these? But that's old and it's made in USA. These are Craftsman USA Diamond. These are these were made in Duluth, Minnesota. Old diamond. That's a 15 inch diamond, a 12 inch, 8 inch. And a six inch and a six inch. Proto Proto Williams. Air tools. I got. These are supposed to be in here, but whatever. I got a cheap little air hammer. I don't really use it that much. I mostly use it for doing U joints. Works pretty well for that actually. Harbor Freight, 90 degree. They're like 12 bucks. If it breaks, I throw it away and I go buy a new one. This is an old Craftsman. I've had that for a long time. This is an air riveter from Harbor Freight. Some speed handles. Utility knives, batteries, extra blades, scissors. I got some um, spade bits. Stud finder, uh, staples, claw hammer, measuring drawer. I buy 12 foot Stanleys like all the time. This is what I use for everything. If I need longer, I got a, this 30 foot Craftsman. Then I use these 16 foot Milwaukee's all the time. I didn't really like these 12 foot Milwaukee's because they're you can see the thickness difference. If you can see that. I like these Stanleys, they're metal cased. Good good tape measures. You got an instant read thermometer. Doing AC stuff. You got a, another thermometer, squares. We're doing torque. Pin pin punches, punches, chisels. These are Craftsman uh, roll pin punches. These are Craftsman pun pin punches. These are Northern Tool. This set of brass brass punches is like 12 bucks. Can't beat that. Pure brass. Uh, most of these are made in USA. No name brand stuff. Get them at hardware stores, stuff like that around here. I got Harbor Freight hole punches for making gaskets. I got Harbor Freight lighter punches. These uh, Mac punches. Picked these up at a garage sale for 20 bucks. They work. Work good enough for me. I don't really use them all that much. Not them ones, anyways. I use my other ones. I figured I'd buy them just to have them if I want to throw them in a toolbox, my pickup or something. Here's a service drawer. I got some, I got an SK ratchet and socket. My buddy owed me some money, so he gave me that for it. Hole saws and socket rails, gasket material, paraffin wax for uh, stuck bolts. Do the road box. Mostly all gear wrench. I got a Harbor Freight breaker bar. Here's a no name brand, kind of old bar. Old Craftsman USA ratchet. One, more of those uh, Allen keys. Got a big flashlight in there. These are mostly all gear wrench and uh, Northern Tool brand, Harbor Freight brand. Just cheap stuff. Got some ratchets in there, extensions, 
screwdrivers. These ones are made in Germany, Philos, pretty good. Assortment of junk. Some more junk. Some more junk. You never know what you're going to need on the road. I put this box together because I had an overflow of stuff. I mean, look at that, another 12 footer. So there's some more uh, Harbor Freight hammers, cheater pipes, bars, zip ties, tire repair stuff, wrenches. A lot of this stuff is, I don't know, stuff I picked up at garage sales and whatnot. Got for free, got from people, whatever. And tool cart. Got uh, magnetic trays on the side. That's mirrors for the side by side there, tape on them. These wipe all wipes, those are pretty good. Not as good as tub of towels though. Got wire and lights and oil container and knee pads and some other stuff on here. Here's the rest of them cobalt screwdrivers, they're pretty well used, but. Can't get replacements for them, so that's why I went to Klein. OBD reader, towels, got PV blaster, some uh, brake clean, some, I don't know what do we got here, a ultra black gasket maker, electrical cleaner, free all, you know, basic stuff on the tool cart. So, well, that was my toolbox tour. A little tour of the shop. Uh, if you have any questions, write a comment, send a message. I don't know how much content I'm going to do. We'll see how many views I get on this, I guess. Pretty new to this YouTube stuff. I'm not that old, but I was raised pretty old school. I'm not uh, tech savvy or anything. So if there's any swearing in this video, I'm sorry that you had to hear that, but I'm not an editor, so I'll, uh, I'll let you